frustration with streaming the Olympics on my new Atom Ion powered home theater PC has been the ridiculous CPU consumption. Now, in theory, Microsoft Silver like technology that powers the Olympics website should take advantage of the GPU acceleration built into the NVIDIA's Ion graphics chip. But in reality, my video playback on Silverlight has been sucking up my clock cycles, resulting in a pretty, well, frame stuttering mess. <laughs> I asked you guys how it was impacting your systems, and, well, you were seeing the, Olymp the Olympics were hammering on your video processors, too. Well, your, your, actually, it's just your, your desktop processors. Yeah, that's true. If it was hammering on the GPU, it wouldn't be a problem, because then your CPU would be that's clear. That's a good point. Yeah. But I also got a nice bit of inside info from Randy, who wrote in to tell us how Silverlight almost takes advantage of GPU acceleration. He says, now by default, acceleration is disabled, and to enable it in the source code of the website, it needs to be edited. Not even Microsoft's smooth streaming site demo that we showed off last week has GPU acceleration enabled. So yeah, you won't be able to watch the Olympics in glorious three megabit per second stream with an Atom processor, at least not yet. And I do want to thank Randy for sending that info in, and I'm glad it's just not me. Yeah, I mean, although it would be nice if it was just you. It, it, and there was like some switch you could click in the BIOS or something. Considering how long that Silverlight 3 has been out, at least, right. with GPU acceleration hooks in there, I'm really surprised that they're not taking advantage of that now. We need to find somebody at Microsoft to tell us more about why people no. are enabling that code. Because that would solve why? my problem. It, granted, the Atom is a relatively weak processor, but with GPU acceleration, it would solve my issue. Hopefully, it, hopefully things will change in the future.